Welcome to my channel, RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss the drug name Ramipril. About Ramipril is an ACE inhibitor and works by decreasing renin-angiotensin aldosterone system activity. Ramipril is used to treat high blood pressure, heart failure, and diabetic kidney disease. Ramipril can be considered safe and well-tolerated for most people with renovascular disease, narrowing of the artery to one or both kidneys, only if close blood test monitoring is available at the start of therapy. Treatment with Ramipril in some patients with significant narrowing in both kidneys can increase serum creatinine concentration, measured in the blood test, which returns to baseline upon therapy cessation. Medical Uses It is used for high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, following a heart attack in people with evidence of heart failure, people over 55 years at high risk, prevention of heart attack, stroke, cardiovascular death, or need of revascularization procedures to prevent the onset and progression of kidney damage due to diabetes with or without protein in the urine. Randomized trial evidence suggests that a maximum tolerable dose prevents cardiovascular events and death in patients with diabetic kidney disease. Mechanism of Action Ramipril inhibits the angiotensin-converting enzyme and decreases angiotensin to formation. As a result, sympathetic activity goes down, Sodium and water reabsorption from the kidneys reduces and smooth muscles in the arterioles also relax. As a result, blood pressure decreases. What is angiotensin-converting enzyme ACE, inhibitors are medications that help relax the veins and arteries to lower blood pressure. Hypovolemia, also known as volume depletion or volume contraction, is a state of abnormally low extracellular fluid in the body. This may be due to either a loss of both salt and water or a decrease in blood volume. Angioedema is swelling underneath the skin. It's usually a reaction to a trigger, such as a medicine or something you are allergic to. It is not normally serious, but it can be a recurring problem for some people and can very occasionally be life-threatening if it affects breathing. Hyperkalemia is defined as a serum or plasma potassium level above the upper limits of normal, usually greater than 5.0 MEQL to 5.5 MEQL. Dosage Hypertension Adult Initially, 1.25 to mg once daily given at bedtime. Maintenance, 2.5 to 5 mg daily as a single dose, up to 10 mg daily as needed. Heart failure. Adult. Initially, 1.25 to mg once daily. Maximum dose, 10 mg daily. Dosage greater than or equal to 2.5 mg may be given into divided dosages. Maximum dose 10 mg daily in 1 to 2 divided doses. Post myocardial infraction. Adult initially 2.5 mg to times a day increased after 2 days to 5 mg to times a day. Start treatment 3 to 10 days after an infraction. Usual dose is 2.5 to 5 mg twice a day. Prophylaxis of cardiovascular events in high-risk patients. Adult. Initially, 2.5 mg once daily increased to 5 mg once daily after a further 3 weeks. Contraindications. Bilateral renal artery stenosis or a single kidney with unilateral renal artery stenosis. Aortic stenosis or outflow tract obstruction. Alcohol. Pregnancy and lactation. 
Special precautions while taking Ramipri. Hypovolemia, hyperkalemia. Volvular stenosis, before, during, or immediately after anesthesia. Severe resistant hypertension, elderly, peripheral vascular disease, or generalized atherosclerosis. Monitor renal function before and during treatment. Use with caution in patients with a history of idiopathic or hereditary angioedema. Monitoring of WBC in patients with vascular collagen disorders. Drug interactions. Concomitant administration of diuretics lead to serious hypotension. With potassium sparing diuretics, dangerous hypokalemia may result. Side effects Shakiness, dry cough, dizziness, and lightheadedness due to low blood pressure, fatigue, especially in the early stages, mouth dryness in the early stages, fainting, chest pain, impotence, erectile dysfunction, hyperkalemia, neutropenia, low white blood cells, signs of infection, example, fever, chills, Persistent sore throat. Taking Ramipril for a long time can sometimes cause your kidneys to not work as well as they should. Your doctor will check how well your kidneys are working with regular blood tests. Some brand names which are available in the market. Altes. Cardase. Cardiopril. Ramipris. Zorin. If you want information on a particular medicine, mention it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.